Hi guys. Hey, listen, I was listening to a message this morning from Robert Barriger, who's a pastor in Peru. Um, and he's just saying how they've just spent 320 days in lockdown, the first part of the pandemic, and they've only just been able to travel now. But challenging scripture from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 8, it says this, that in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above them were seraphim, each with six wings, with two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty, the whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices the doorposts and threshold shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I'm ruined, for I'm a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. And with it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips, your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And the, th the thought that Robert shared was just around this, that we're living in crazy and unsure times. There's a lot of fear about the future. What will be, uh, will we go back to a normal, a new normal, um, I put it this way, an unknown conundrum of anxieties. The thought about, have you ever entered a room and people or entered church and people are chatting freely and then you come up and you try to get into the conversation and suddenly they either turn away or the topic changes. Uh, and inwardly you might even be saying to yourself, I, I just don't belong here. I don't feel I belong. Well, Isaiah was very similar. He shows up in this really, really holy meeting. If you think about that and read it in context, I don't belong here. I'm a man of unclean lips. I'm from a tribe of unclean lips. Um, and yet he gets touched by God. And as he gets closer into the conversation now, he hears the Trinity speaking. Who will go? And his reply, here I am, send me. The thought that Robert shared was this, that our destiny is attached to belonging. We often don't know our destiny until we feel we belong. And when we know we belong, we're willing to go. Even a quiet person can be as bold as a lion. I can do that. Who will do this? Who will go for us? I can do it. You see, we belong to Jesus. He purchased us with his blood. We belong to his church, the bride. He's coming back for us. And we belong to the community of believers, his kingdom. Because we can go from, I don't belong, to here I am, send me. Hope this encourages you today. Bless.